Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to create a simple mix and match bundle in Bundler app. I will create a bundle which will give my customers a 15% discount when they buy any combination of 3 to 5 items from the bundle. After you open the Bundler app, you will first see all of the bundles that you have configured. And above that is a button which you can use to create a new bundle in your shop. I will click it and a pop-up will appear where I will select the type of bundle I want to create. You can see that I can now select the type of the bundle I want to create. Currently, you can create classic bundle, mix and match bundle, and a volume discount bundle. The classic bundle is a bundle where you give customers a discount when they buy a preset combination of products. The Mix and Match Bundle allows customers to pick any combination of products from the bundle and get a discount as long as they fulfill the requirements you set up. The Volume Discount allows you to give customers a discount when they buy multiples of the same or different products together. For example, you can give them a discount when they buy four of the same items together. In my case, I want to create a Mix and Match Bundle where I will give customers a discount when they buy 3 to 5 products from the bundle together. For this, I will select the second option, where it says Mix and Match Bundle. So let's continue by clicking on the Mix and Match Bundle option. Alright, we are now configuring our Mix and Match Bundle. As you can see, each field already has a default value. In most cases, the default values are good enough, but we will check each of them so that you will know what they mean. The first field allows us to set up the name of the bundle. This name will show up in the checkout page as the name of the discount. The second field gives you an option to set a title for this bundle. This title will show up in your shop and on your product pages. I will just leave it on the default option as the default value is already okay for me. The next option allows you to set up a description for this bundle discount. This will show just below the title of the bundle in the bundle widget. I will change it to pick 3 to 5 items and get a discount. The third option is the pricing info which will show up just above the add to cart button in the bundle. I will show you how this shows in the widget later in the video. I will leave the default values in here as the two placeholders will be automatically replaced with the correct value in the widget itself. In most cases, you don't have to edit this field at all. This input field defines what will show in the Add to Cart button of the bundle widget. And this field defines the text which shows below the Add to Cart button. You can see that it basically explains to the customer that the discount for this bundle will be applied at the checkout, which is great. All right. So now we are at the priority sequence. The priority sequence is a great functionality, which is incredibly useful when you have multiple bundles with similar sets of products. Here is how this works. By default, Bundler applies bundle discounts by bundle's priority sequence, meaning that it first tries to apply discount from a bundle with the highest priority, and so on. If every bundle has a unique combination of products, then you don't even have to bother with priority sequence. However, as soon as you have the same or a similar combination in more than one bundle, for example, bundle with products A and B and another bundle with products A, B and C, then you have to set the priority of your bundles. If you want to keep using both bundles in this example, then the second bundle, the one with more products, should have a higher priority than the first one. This way, Bundler first tries to apply the discount from the bundle with a higher priority, and if it can't apply it because the customer doesn't have all of the required products in the cart, then it continues with the next bundle. As we will only create one bundle, I will just leave this on its default value. Alright, now to the next option. The bundle status allows you to set up whether the bundle is active or paused. When the bundle is active, the Bundler app will apply bundle discounts. But when the bundle is paused, the Bundler app won't apply the bundle discount. Simple as that. This option on the right allows us to set if we want to show the widgets for this bundle and where we want to show them. We can set the app to show the widgets, hide them everywhere, 
or hide them just on the product pages. A thing to note here is that even if we hide the widgets for the bundle, Bundler will still apply discounts from this bundle as long as the customers have the correct products in their carts. Okay, the next setting allows us to limit the bundle discount only to customers tagged with a specific tag. You can use this functionality to show the widget and apply discounts only to wholesale customers, members of your club, and so on. I will leave it empty as I want to offer this bundle discount to all customers in my shop. The next option allows us to schedule the bundle discount. Let's take a look. If I click on this option, more settings show up. I have already explained this in another tutorial, so I won't go into details in this one. I will just turn it back off as I want to make sure that the bundle will start working immediately after I save it. And on to the next section. In this next section, we can decide what kind of discount we want to offer to our customers. We can create a bundle with a percentage discount, fixed amount discount, we can set specific discount on some of the products in the bundle, or we can simply set a fixed bundle price. The percentage discount option will simply apply a percentage discount on all products in the bundle. The fixed amount discount will apply a fixed discount amount on the products in the bundle. The set discounts on products option allows us to set a specific discount on each product separately. If we turn on this option, then we will have to set a discount on each product separately below this card. The fixed bundle price option simply allows us to set a fixed price for the whole bundle. This means that the Bundler app will then calculate the actual discount amount on its own. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will simply turn on the percentage discount option and give my customers a 15% discount. You can also give your customers a free shipping discount when they buy a bundle. To do this, just check this box here. And let's move on. In this next section, we can set the bundle product level. This is an incredibly useful functionality, which allows us to separate variants in the bundle or keep them grouped under the same products. For example, the default product level option will leave the variants of the same product grouped in a drop-down selector. This is of course only applicable if your products in the bundle have more than just one variant. And the other variant level option allows us to display each variant as a standalone product in the bundle. This means that each variant we add to the bundle will show up as its own product. In this tutorial, we will leave this on the default product level value. And on to the most important part, the discounted products in the bundle. This is where we select the actual products which we want to have in the bundle. These are the products that the customers will be able to use to create their own bundle and get a bundle discount. To select products, just click the Select Products button. And now, we just select the products we want to have in the bundle and click Add. You can now also see that we can set a maximum allowed quantity for each product in the bundle. This will restrict the quantity of each item that the customer can buy and still get a discount on it. You can see that you can set this up here. In Mix and Match Bundles, you can also mark a few of the products in the bundle as required products. If you mark a product as required, then customers will have to add it to their bundle to get a discount. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I don't want to have any product marked as required. There is also another neat little feature in here, which allows you to set up a custom image for each product. To set a custom image, just click on this icon of an image. And then, a pop-up shows where you can set up a custom image for this product. But in this tutorial, I won't set up any custom images. The option where it says automatically add new product variants is useful if you regularly add new variants to your products. If you turn on this option, then the app will detect this and automatically add these newly created variants to this bundle. This saves you some time as you won't have to come back to the app and add the new variants to the bundle. I will turn this on. The next section with the title Discount Conditions is the important part here. When you are configuring a mix and match bundle, 
the options have to be selected exactly the same as in this video. These options will already be pre-selected if you selected the Mix and Match option in a pop-up after you click the Create Bundle button. And on to the last important section. In this section, we can set up the minimum required and maximum allowed number of items that the customer can buy to still get the bundle discount. In my case, I will set the minimum required number of items to 3 and maximum allowed number of items to 5. This means that the customer will have to pick from 3 to 5 items from my bundle to get the discount, which is exactly what I want. Okay, the next two sections will be explained in another tutorial, so for now, I will just scroll all the way down and save the bundle. You can save the bundle simply by clicking the Save Bundle button. Okay, this is now saved. I will now scroll back up and check how the bundle shows up. You can see that two new buttons appeared here. The first one allows me to get a link to the automatically generated landing page, while the other one allows me to get the quick checkout link, which can be used to lead my customers directly to the checkout. For now, I will use the landing page URL to see how the bundle shows up. Okay. You can see how nicely the bundle shows up in my shop. You can see the title which I set up on the bundle, the description, and the products with images. And below each product, there is a button which allows me to add the product to the bundle. I will add three products to my bundle. And now, if I scroll a bit down, you can see these products in my custom-built bundle. And below them is also the total original price with the discounted price. And when I click the Add to Cart button below them, the Bundler app will add them to the cart and apply the discount. Alright, now we are in the checkout. You can see that both the 15% discount and the free shipping discount were applied on this order, which is great. Just the way I configured the bundle. Alright, this is it. In the video that you just watched, you learned how to create a simple mix and match bundle in the Bundler app. You learned how to configure the bundle, set the discount, select the products, and how to check how and if the bundle widget shows up. I hope that you liked the video and that it helped you clear any doubts you might have had. Now open the Bundler app in your shop and configure your first bundle. Have a great day!